everyone, Crystal here with Sea Light Candles and Soaps, and we are here to do a soap, and we're doing fresh raspberries. I've done uh, a couple scents that had raspberry in it, but never just the re just straight uh, raspberries. And um, this one says that on the uh, online website it says that it doesn't accelerate trace, it doesn't discolor or anything like that. So, I'm going to try it out. Um, I've been doing something a little bit differently. This is only my second time doing it. But in this little cup here, I've got my goat's milk, which is my half of the goat's milk that I need. I'm using the half and half method. Half goat's milk, half water, and all the lye. And then in the goat's milk, I've got my kaolin clay and my oatmeal blended up. Um, I've seen... Celine over at I Am Hat Handmade. I've seen that she doesn't like this. Um, so I just tried it out to see if I like it. So um, in with the goat's milk, cane clay, and oatmeal. I always pick up little tips and stuff from other soapers. Like th little things that they do. And if it makes my life go a little bit easier and the, the batch go a little bit easier, then I'll try it out. So that's all of that in there. Let's go ahead and give that a mix. All right, that looks like it mixed in pretty well. Okay, and I am going to do something a little bit different too this time. I'm not going to, even though the website says that it doesn't accelerate, I'm not going to put my fragrance in until I do my colors. Um, what I plan on doing today is something I haven't done in a while. Um, I plan on, um, let me show you the colors too. Um, in the very bottom, let me see which one it is here this one in the very bottom this is supposed to be fire engine red which it never turns out red it just turns out like a dark pink but in the very bottom of my mold I'm gonna have this color the fire engine red and then in my big bowl I'm gonna have white and then here I've got voodoo pink and then here I have pink vibrance and I'm gonna do the in the pot swirl and there's something in my soap butter here I'm gonna do an in the pot swirl and then put it on top of the um, fire engine red that's going to be on the bottom. So it's going to be a solid color on the bottom, a swirl on top, and then um, then we'll do our topping. And I'm not piping today. Um, I've been really into the spoon tops here lately. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to do a spoon top. So in my oils, there goes my lye. It's got silk in it. And I'm not using sodium lactate today. I'm using steric acid. And for some reason, this steric acid, I got it from Brambleberry this time. And for some odd reason, my batter uh, rices as soon as I go to mix it after I put my lye in. I don't know why it does, but I, it has to be the steric acid. Because this is the same recipe that I've always used. And the only difference is that, that this is the new steric acid that I put in there. So that has to be the reason why it's doing it. But it just stick blends out, so no worries. Alright guys, so there is my water for my stick blender. Let's go ahead and get this mixed up. Huh, it's not ricing this time. What a surprise. What in the world is that? <laughs> There's a ribbon in my soap. How did that happen? Yep, it's ricing. It started. See, it's 
stick blends right out, but for some reason, it wants to rice on me. And that is just so weird. Uh, in this container, I've got my uh, super fat and my glycerin. I just added the glycerin in with the super fat. And it's just a little extra super fat. It's mango butter. Uh, I already calculated the super fat into my um, recipe, but I like to add a little bit extra. It adds to the conditioning factor of the soap and the hardness. Alright, so let's get that mixed in. And I'm going to try not to blend if I can help it. I mean, I know I'm going to have to, but I'm going to do very little. Alright, that looks good and emulsified. Alright, I'm only going to pour off what I need for the bottom layer. I'm only going to mix that for right now. And then I'll go back and mix everything else. But for right now, I just want to get that bottom layer into my soap. Hmm, let's see. Let's see if that needs to be on that. I hope that's enough. So, into this, and we're going to add a little bit of fragrance. Get a little bit more now. Ooh, that's a pretty color. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that pretty? Try to get all the color from the bottom of the container here. Right, that looks good and mixed in. Alright, let's get our mold. And go ahead and pour it in. I'm going to leave just a little bit for the top. There's something in my mouth. Okay. And then whatever's left in that, I'll leave for my topping. soap fell in it. That wasn't good. Alright. Come on. Maybe I should have cleaned off these little things before I put them on my, my um, thing. So I'm going to get the edges here. So let's set this to the side so it can be setting. Alright, now let's work on the rest of them. Let's see. wider than that. Looks like I need to make some more titanium dioxide.
little sticker got a hold of my stick my spatula there and then I won't need to stick blend the other ones so let me stir this a little bit so let's go ahead and add our fragrance I'm going to add it as I am um, stir in the colors and of course it's anchored in tapioca starch okay let's get these mixed in together Now the website said it didn't accelerate, but I didn't want to take any chances because I wanted this to be a really nice in the pot swirl. I didn't want it to thicken up on me too bad. Alright, so there's that one. And then we got this pink. I'm going on the bottom making sure I'm bringing all the color up. My hands are a little slippery. So that one's mixed in. Oh, I love this voodoo pink. I absolutely love this pink. It's so pretty. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that beautiful? I just ordered my second bottle of it. And I had the first one for quite a while. So I know it'll last me a while. I just love this color. Okay. Time for the drop, or not drop swirl, but it's thickening up a little bit. Alright, so I'm going to go up and start a pie and put it into three different places. And as I pour it in, I'm going to go down low. So I'll leave whatever that is for the top. And then same for over here. I'm going to right beside it. And then as I get closer, I'm going to go to the bottom. And then the rest of that can be for the top. Alright, so now what I'm going to do, I want to make sure y'all can see, is I'm just going to take my spatula. I'm going to go once around once, maybe twice, and through the middle. Now, let's get our thing back over here. Oh wow, that's set up nicely. Okay. So, I need to use my spatula to break the fall. So, I'm going to get it down low and start These clips are getting in the way. Alright, there we go. Oh, 
Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I love raspberries. I love any scent that's got raspberry in it. I just can't believe I've not done this one before. It smells so good. I love, love, love this fresh raspberry scent. And I got it from Nature's Garden. And it's just delightful. It's awesome. And I just know this in the pot swirl is going to make it look really good. And I don't know if you guys can hear it, but I got a little fan going on in the background here. Um, it's about 100 degrees in my house. We don't have any air conditioning. And when I soap, I just, I burn up. And I was like, I am not going to stand there. Hold on. There you go, Crystal. Get it over the side. I was like, I am not going to stand there and pour sweat like I always do. I've got to get a fan and put it there. Ooh, big bubbles coming. Come on, bubbles. They're still coming. my mess here. I don't know if I'm going to do a spoon top or if I'm just going to, I don't know. I haven't decided yet. This pretty reddish color. I, I hope it was red. If you guys know of a place I can get a red mica, please comment down in the comments below. I have been looking everywhere for a, a really red mica. I mean, I want it to be red. And I know it's out there because I see people uh, with it. I see them using it. So I know it's out there somewhere. I just have not found it yet. And I've looked everywhere and I look at the reviews before I go to buy anything and all of the red micas I have found the reviews say they're not red or they don't turn red So there's that one. And we got the lighter color. I don't know if I'm going to do a skewer top, like do a, a swirly top or a spoon top. I haven't decided yet. I think I might just do a swirl top. I haven't done one of those in a while. Alright, so let me get a skewer. I'm going to tap this down one more time. Get a skewer here, and so...
doesn't really look like much. Let's go back this way. Okay. There's that. Let's add a little bit of glitter. I don't want to add much glitter, just a tiny bit. There we go, just a light dusting. Alright guys, so here is our fresh raspberries. Isn't it pretty? Love it. Y'all can see it right there. I think it looks really pretty. I can't believe I've not done the fresh raspberries yet. Oh gosh, and as much as I love raspberry, I just com completely forgot about the fragrance oil that I had. Clean up the sides. So I'm going to go ahead and I, like I told you in the last video, since I've been using half and half goat's milk, I'm going to set this in the freezer. Um, when I use that much goat's milk, it tends to overheat. And when it overheats, it's just not, it's not good to overheat. So I want to put it in the freezer and I'm going to keep it there for about maybe an hour, hour and a half. And then I'll take it out and let it do its thing. So uh, stay tuned for the cut, guys. Crystal here and we're back and finally I think my soap is hard enough to cut finally I will never ever 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 do that again but this is what it looks like this was um, if you remember our half goat's milk soap and I read online to put the goat's milk soap in the freezer and that would help it to where it wouldn't crack or explode or overheat too bad and I'll never do that again because let me tell you, I did not know. It slows down the saponification process. And, I mean, this soap was like so mushy and soft. And it just, it's been sitting on my counter for four days, guys. And I think, excuse me, I think it's finally okay to cut. It's still a bit soft. But I think it's all right to go ahead and get it cut. So that's what we're going to do. And don't, if you can see back there, I got my summer solstice soap back there hanging out. I'm getting ready to take it out of the mold. So first, let's tighten up our wire. And let me get my rag here. I've been uh, using rags instead of um, instead of paper towels here lately. There we go. That one didn't do very good. But I've been using rags instead of paper towels. I thought, you know, hey, why save on some money and on the landfill and everything else. So, alright. So, here's what it looks like. The cut, the wire kind of messed that piece up. I'll have to bevel it. But I love the way this looks. And there's the top. I'm not used to this tripod, guys. I had to put my camera on a new tripod. My other tripod broke. Look at that. The whole thing just broke. So, this one's a bit taller. And I cannot tell if you can see or what. So, in order to be able to tell if you can see, I gotta stand on my tiptoes and look. But this is what it looks like. And I absolutely love this. I did um, another soap just like this because I, I thought this one was for sure done. I thought I was going to have to rebatch it in the um, in my crock pot. I knew I just thought it it was just so terribly soft. It's still soft, but um, I just knew it was ruined. So I went ahead and I did a Jamaican me crazy with this technique where I put a bottom layer of a color and then did it in the pot swirl with um with blues. So I did the same technique on that. 
and I absolutely love it. I think it looks awesome, but I'm just glad this one hardened up enough to where I can cut it. And I believe that if I, you know, let it set and cure, it'll be good to go. I just could not believe how soft it was when I first took it. I mean, it was just, it stuck to the mold. I couldn't hardly get it out of the mold. It was smushy. Like, if I even barely touched it, it would smush. So, and then I, I went to go research it. The reason why it did it, I thought I goofed and didn't put enough lye in it or something. And, no, that's not the case. Found out that if you put your soaps in the refrigerator or the freezer, it slows down the process. And it can take days for your soap to harden if you do that. So, never, ever, ever will I do that again. Um, I've told my subbies before, I've told you guys, I don't gel, but I don't prevent gel either. I don't wrap them up, you know, and I don't make sure the heat stays in or anything like that. And I don't, you know, I don't prevent gel by putting them in the refrigerator or the freezer. I just did it this time because um, I read somewhere that goat's milk soap needed to be froze. Eh, wrong thing. But I don't prevent it or I don't encourage it. And, I mean, my soaps turn out perfect every time. My colors stay true. I don't get a partial gel or anything like that. So, I mean, obviously what I'm doing is working. And the only thing I do is when I tell you when I get done with the soap, when I say I'm going to put it to bed, that just means I'm going to put it in my oven with the oven off and let it sit there for 24 hours. That's all that means. I don't wrap it up. I don't turn the oven on. I don't encourage it to gel or anything like that. That's all I do. And my soaps turn out awesome every time. Well, I'm not saying they're awesome. Well, yeah, they are awesome. <laughs> but um, I'm not being conceited or anything like that. That's not what I mean. I mean that my soaps turn out okay when I do that. Like, it, the, the color stays, the scent stays, and stuff like that. That's what I mean when I say that. So, obviously what I'm doing is working to some extent because everything turns out okay. So, I think I'm just going to go back to doing that. And, I mean, why mess with something that works, right? Right, okay. But I'm loving how these turned out. Um, I love the in-the-pot swirl technique. I've not done it in a while. And this sucker is still really soft, but I couldn't wait to get it cut. And I know it'll harden. Let's see if we can get an end piece off of that. So, last cut. Alright, guys. Awesome. Uh, if you like this video, please do subscribe and hit the like button. And, of course, comment. Love it when you guys comment. Now, look at my cutter. Look how all the pink on it. Let me see that. I'm going to clean that off. But, yeah, hit the like button and comment. Love it when you all comment. I know I just said that, but... Alright guys, I got this one I need to take out of the mold and I got an idea for another soap today, so stay tuned for the... Did I just say stay tuned for the cut? Oh my gosh. Alright guys, stay tuned for the next video.